Monday, Monday, Monday! That's a little bit too loud. What and to the up you guys and welcome back to my channel For those of you who are new here. Hello. I'm Danny otherwise known as Wolfie Socks and today is Face Mask Monday As usual, we're gonna start off wiping our mugs down with a charcoal wipe So how was your guys weekend? Mine was rather Fantastic. It was my mom's birthday on Sunday. Yeah, don't you just wish you can do so much for your mom, like give her the world, and then you realize that you're poor? <laughs> I honestly like have the, you know the best parents. I want to give you guys a little time to go ahead and go get your face masks before we start. Go ahead, go ahead. You can pause the video here. I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'll wait. Thank you guys. You're back now. You have your masks ready. We're gonna be working with a paper mask today. So if you guys are ready, perfect. Since we already started with a charcoal face wipe. Why not finish it off with a detoxifying charcoal paper mask? And this is by Yes to Tomatoes. Yes to charcoal to help detox skin. So let's open her up like so. She has a little tabage right there. Tab, tabalaba. Ooh. It smells good. Um, like it's. I guess it smells like charcoal. Here she is, Miss America. She's beautiful. She's Grace. She's Miss United States. We're gonna open her up and see what she does to our face. Ooh, this is cold. This is cold, mama. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is kind of hard to talk on my mouth. It ain't sticking. Like, whose face is this for? Like, are you guys seeing this? Like, look at that. The nose, maybe should, should I bring this higher? Like, um, um, let me drag this this way. Wait, I feel like I have to hold this because it's just it won't stay put. I'm gonna to poke it up my lips like this, and then talk to you like this. I feel like the the man in the iron mask. That's what I look like. As you can see from our last video, we went looking for face masks and to load up on some so I can have them and be ready. And yeah, there was no luck. So we're gonna try again this weekend. We're gonna go try to Lush and see what we can find. You guys are wondering what I'm doing. I'm just literally rubbing this all up in my skin, making sure that the charcoal mask is like it's on there, good. You guys have been asking a couple of questions and um, I guess I can answer a few of them here. You guys have been asking where exactly I got the name Wolfie Socks. 
I mean, the gay community, like anything else in the world, things are labeled and categorized and whatnot. Bigger uh, guys like myself, um, we're categorized in the bear community because, you know, bears are big, fluffy. We are considered big and fluffy. Um, and in the bear community, like if you saw an attractive bear, um, you would woof at them. Like, you know, woof. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid. Don't know if that still goes around, but back in the day, because this is like back when, oh my God, it was like maybe 2005 or something like that. It was in Orlando on vacation and we were going to Ice Bar. It was during um, a bear event. I was walking into the gas station to buy cigarettes. Um, yep, I used to smoke back then. Um, and I got woofed at by a bunch of bears in a car. Um, and that was literally like, I was like, what? I was new to the scene, didn't know what the hell was going on. And it was, it was cute. There's that. So remember, keep that in mind, woof. Um, and then with the socks part, it's because I love socks. Like some of you guys love underwear, some of you guys love, you know, shoes or hats. I mean, I love shoes and hats too, um, but I adore socks. I actually have a huge thing with socks. Call it a fetish, call it what you will, um, but I love socks. When I started my YouTube back in December, um, it's only been a couple months, you guys, I would put my real name on there, Daniel, and you know, there was so many before you actually got to myself that I was like, no, that can't be. Like I wanted to be the first one, like to, you know, to put it, you know, be up there. I was like, okay, let me try Danny, my nickname. And there was even more. So I had to come up with something that meant something to me um, and that I thought was cute and catchy. So I was like, hmm, I need something that's that's gonna, you know, be creative, be me. And so it's Wolfie socks and that was how wolfy socks was created that answers that question i know i'm long-winded what can i say um and another question people um have been asking as well um about my tattoos i in total have i believe 13 or 14 tattoos i gotta count them um and i guess i can do a video on that and the explanation behind them um, on another video. If you guys would like that, go ahead and let me know down below. Sound off, as they like to say. And also they've been asking about these little tiny circles that you see in here and you see um, around my ears. And we are doing this um, weight loss program, which is working fabulously. It is with a strict diet as well as these little tiny little round band-aids and under that band-aid is a tiny magnetic ball the doctor we go to um, basically put these on the pressure points of the ears which um, can stem from your metabolism pain management it's a lot of different pressure points all over the you know the human body do different things to your body. It's like acupuncture, only with magnetic balls. Um, I know I tried to explain it to my parents as well, and they were like skeptical. Um, and a few months later, now I am uh, 35 pounds down. It's kind of like, oh, okay, I, but I believe it now, you know. Um, the car accident, me and my husband were involved. Um, from being down almost an entire year, not being able to walk, I gained a lot of weight because my comfort was food. Um, and again, if you guys want to hear about that, leave me a comment down below and I'll do a story time and I can show you guys pictures um, of the car, of us. I'm still going through recovery uh, today and it's been two, three years? Three years. Well, in total, I have officially lost uh, 85 pounds. I feel great and the more weight I lose, the better my joints feel because I do have a lot of hardware um, in my broken areas in my hip, in my, in my leg, in my knee. The lighter I am, the less stress it is on my bones, and I feel way better. I'm just feeling way better about myself. My self-esteem is going up, I'm just feeling really good. I'm bringing my sexy back, you know what I'm saying? That's what these are. Those, these are those magnetic points. And points of the ears. Um, I have one here, also on the other side of my back. Some for pain, some for weight some to speed up your metabolism, all those good things, those pressure points. The diet is the hardest part, obviously, because it's not just the pressure points, it's 
um, retraining and rebooting your body basically. Mm -hmm. I want to post a picture here of um, a little before and after I had this on Facebook. On my Facebook, you know that. Um, I think I put it on my Instagram, but if not, by the time this goes up, it'll be on my Instagram. Um, I'll put my name, Instagram name here. You guys go check me out. Um, yeah. I'm still going strong, you know. Um, you know, we have our moments where we cheat, you know, and it does affect us because it kind of like throws off the diet and all that stuff. And also, they're asking about this piercing. This piercing is a dermal piercing. It is literally, I don't know if you can see, inside of me. Like, a little hole was put there and it was... It was inserted in my body, girl. I got my birthstone, which is aqua. This is like, literally dry, like drying up on my face. That's, I think it's time to expose her. Or expose of her. Let's take this on. Yes, ma'am. Molly Sue. Ooh. Looks the same. <laughs> wipe this because one of my awesome subwoofers uh, told me that masks like this, these paper face masks, usually the, um, the liquid is um, are able to be left on the skin and be absorbed. So that is what we are going to do. Don't know what accent that was, but there it was. You're welcome. I always love when it comes like the face mask comes off. They didn't leave the scent, thankfully, of the actual mask. Um, when you first opened it, it was kind of, it was nice, but at the same time, it had that after smell. I don't know how really how to describe it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually like the cucumber mask much better. I don't know if it was because of the tingling. Um, it made me feel like it was working. This one didn't tingle as much. Um, like right now, I feel it more tingling than it was when it was actually on my face. But I do it again, I'll probably, I'll probably do this one again. You know, I like anything charcoal. I'll probably do the cucumber mask again. So there you guys go, you guys got a little story time. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and become a subwoofer yourself. While you're at it, click the like button also. Let's me know that you're enjoying my videos. And um, I guess we'll call this one another successful pampering. All right, you guys, go wash your faces and, um, or not, leave it on, let it soak in, do what you wanna do, it's your life, live it. And we'll talk to you guys on another time. Bye.